Hey there, my name's Adan, Albanian songwriter from New York City. I am at a loss for words to, de to describe what is happening right now. Um, Chris Wynn in Australian Tonewoods, we are partnering up for a custom series guitar and I don't know how else to describe it, but you know, like, do I, um, yeah, this is probably not the best promotional video you guys were expecting, but it's just honest. Like, I don't, I guess the best way to describe it is to go back to when I first picked up guitar. Um, this will probably set the scene a lot better than, yeah. Um, senior, junior going into senior year, my friend Jonathan is sitting in a cafeteria playing guitar. Um, I haven't really played guitar ever at that point. And he's in this cafeteria and there's 50 or 60 kids just encircling him as he's playing and singing. Um, and I remember seeing this crowd, I'm like, what is happening? Like, why is everyone crowding around? I, he I heard music obviously, but I didn't realize what was happening. And Jonathan's playing guitar in front of these kids, my classmates, um, and I'm just like, whoa, like, all these people are interested in hearing him play. And I, at that moment, I was like, man, like, there's nothing like that, is there? Right, having everyone come, come together in, in a beautiful way and supporting somebody else playing music. I just really, I've never been to a concert at that point, so I didn't realize like the gravity of, of it. Um, so after he was done playing music, I was like, hey, John, like, that was amazing. Like, dude, do you mind like teaching me how to play guitar? I want to get myself a guitar just to, not to like play in front of anyone, but just to practice and learn. Um, and he's like, yeah, of course. So we'll, we'll go after school tomorrow and, and, and get you a guitar. Um, but first he's like, just here, here's my guitar and just learn a bit on it during the school days. Um, so we spent like a week or two and I would play his guitar in, in between classes and I just loved it. Right. So, and then I started asking all of my friends like, Hey, like, do you have a guitar? Like, do you have a guitar? Can I borrow it? Can I learn how to play guitar? And sadly, none of my friends had a guitar or, um, knew anyone with a guitar that they were able to lend me. So finally I was like, Hey John, like how much is a guitar dude? Like, let's go, let's go buy a guitar. I think it's time I need to have my own. And he goes, yeah, we'll go to the local guitar shop that that's around the corner. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, little sucker took me to a custom guitar shop where guitars were over like $2,000. And if you don't know, custom guitars are just so ridiculously overpriced. And I was like, dude, like each good. And I was naive at the time, obviously. I'm um, like, dude, like guitars are a thousand, two thousand dollars. That's insane. How am I supposed to afford this? And then I just like left the store. And I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to be a guitar player, clearly. Um, so we, we leave the shop and he's laughing and he, and he takes me to another shop. He's like, oh, like, I was just messing with you, dude. Like, let's go to Guitar Center. You can probably find a guitar for like 200 bucks or a hundred bucks. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't have a hundred bucks or like, I don't have 200 bucks to spend. This is at the time when we were trying to save up so that I can go to college and my brother is already in college. So spending $200 on a guitar wasn't something I wanted to bring up to my parents. So I was like, oh, like, I forget it, man. Like, that's probably too expensive. Um, anyway, so I was just like, all right, whatever. Like, forget this dream of learning how to play guitar. It was just for fun anyway, so it's fine. Um, as we're leaving Guitar Center, where we just looked at some guitars, we, we were walking past this pawn shop in Jersey City and the owner of the pawn shop walks out of this pawn shop and I'll never forget it. He's holding a guitar. It's not completely broken, but it's broken. And he's like throwing it on top of a pile of trash. And I, I walk over there with, with John and I'm like, Hey, like, sir, like, are you throwing that out? And he's like, yeah, the neck's broken. It's going to cost us more to fix this guitar than it would, than we would make on it. I'm, I'm like, Hey, like, do you mind if I have it? Can I keep it then? And he's like, yeah, dude, we're throwing it in the trash. Like, you have at it. One man's trash is another, you know, uh, it's treasure. So I was like, this is fantastic. Like, I'm going to learn how to play. I'm going to fix it, and it's going to be great. I went home, and this is the guitar I picked up that day, actually. It didn't have any of the drawing, crappy drawings that I, that I drew on it. Um, but this was the guitar, and right here, you can still see the neck is kind of lifted up, and it's cracked. 
basically what happens when you have a cracked guitar neck, it lifts the strings up so high that it makes it very uncomfortable to play the guitar. It wasn't impossible to play, so I learned on this, on this guitar. And I, to this day, it's just like the universe turned around and was like, hey, like, you're meant to play guitar. You gotta go for it. And here, here's a free guitar so you can learn. Um, I still find that story unbelievable but it's 100% true, and the rest is history from there. Um, now, I'm partnering up with Chris Wynn, an Australian tone with guitars on a custom series guitar. Um, this is un absolutely unbelievable. It's absolutely a dream come true. I don't have words to describe what this means to me. Um, so I'm gonna read Chris, <laughs> Chris's words as opposed to just blurting around. Um, so the way this, this uh, guitar was made, it is an Australian tonewood guitar. It has a fiddleback, blackwood back and sides, King Billy pine soundboard, Queensland maple neck and mulga fretboard and bridge. Um, Chris was under Thomas Lloyd guitars for a few years and now he has his own. Um, Chris Wynn guitars. Honestly, it's just a dream come true to have such a, it's a handmade custom guitar from Australia. And it's just it's such a beautiful partnership, you know, like it's just a dream come true. I'm honored that you guys want me to be a part of the family and yeah, I, I don't know how else to say it, but thank you. This is, this is unbelievable.